going really fast. And your teammates will be suffering as well. And, and it feels like the wheels are falling off in those last four laps. So, hey, gentlemen. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. I'm about to head out training on my bike. It's a stunning day here today. We've got blue skies, no clouds in the skies, but if, before I do, uh, I'm watching I'm watching Ethan. You all know Ethan, he's been in the vlog many, many times. For those of you who don't know, he's in Australia competing at the Commonwealth Games. He's currently in the bronze medal ride off against Canada uh, in, in the team pursuit. Come on, Ethan, let's go. Ethan Vernon, just 17 years of age, former BMX rider as a youngster, now look at him go, leading them around the bottom of the track here, going for a medal, only half a second between these two teams in the race for bronze. Well, two minutes, point. They can almost reach out to the bronze medal, a second in it, Wales have made it tough, they've given them a really hard race, but in the end it's Canada who take the bronze medal, four minutes to head, point four four zero. Uh, just under a second faster than Wales, who just miss out on a place on the podium. The Wales team were good enough for fourth today. Um, in what was a very fast day, Australia went on to take the, the, the team pursuit world record. So that was pretty insane. But it's been so cool to see Ethan's uh, progress over the last few years and seeing how far he's gotten in such a short space of time. For sure, that kid's on for a successful career. I can't honestly tell you when my last ride was. It wasn't either A, ridiculously cold, B, ridiculously windy, or B, or, or C, 3, C, uh, wet. Today is neither of those things. It's currently eight degrees. The sun's shining, there's no wind at all today. I don't want to grudge it, but it seems like spring is finally on its way. So I hadn't ridden, I hadn't even touched my bike for three days. Uh, then yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video, I headed over to Manchester to do some uh, power tested and power profiling and then I guess today is my first my first training ride since uh, racing at the weekend I just had a few days off there to try and completely clear myself of this illness of this cold just get it out of my body and sort of start fresh and I think and I think I hope that I've done that so I've just got a couple of hours to do today no efforts no intervals just to get my legs back into the swing of things and hopefully now I can start building myself up again without getting ill but I mean like just look at it today is insane I had to ride today. We're now up to 11 degrees. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places, makes me laugh above the irony of everything. So I'm riding around like the moss roads, the lanes of West Lancashire today, trying to find some dirt roads and some gravel roads where I can do a little bit of practice for, uh, we got the Rutland Siskel Classic in a few weeks time, which for those of you that don't know, it's a UCI race here in the UK that uh, has gravel sections, it has sort of dirt road sections. So I'm trying to find some places here where I live where I can do some practice on the, on the gravel roads. So if anyone's got any suggestions, if anyone lives local to this area, let me know in the comments. So my latest thing that I've gotten into is, um, well, as you can probably notice, my, my glasses, they used to be black. Now they're white and they've got a little uh, got a little pattern to them which I don't even know really what it is. It's like little hexagons, maybe octagons. Yeah, anyway, besides the point, I've started learning and started teaching myself by just watching YouTube videos really how to how to hydro dip. And yeah, I dip my Blizz uh, cycling glasses. These are the first ones that I've done. Uh, I'm currently in the process of dipping my Oakley Jawbreakers in a sticker bomb wrap. I know sticker bomb is a classic uh, design that people get their Oakleys wrapped in, but, I am, uh, but I'm excited to see how it turns out. All of my downtime at the minute, every second that I've got spent free is, uh, is spent on the internet. Watching videos, uh, reading up how to finesse different elements of, of dipping, and ultimately just practicing my skills on, on glasses and various different plastic objects. Welcome back to episode number five of Temperature Watch with Cameron Jeffers. It's now 12, 12 degrees. This is the warmest it's been in months. Mate, this is the dream. It does not get any better than this. Just out on my bike, in the sunshine, cruising down the lanes. It's good. Maybe over the last few months you've been living or you've been riding uh, vicariously through these videos. Now's the time to take the bike off the turbo trainer, get it out of the shed and get out on your bike. But yeah, for me, ride done today. Just a steady ride, cruising through the lanes. Great day. 
This Saturday, I'm heading back into Manchester. I'm heading over to Cycle Fit to, to get a bike fit. Actually, I'm not personally getting a bike fit. Someone else is, I'm, but I'm going along. More of which I will get into at the weekend. But if any of you guys have got any questions you want to put over to Matt, the bike fit uh, expert, perhaps you're having some trouble with your back and you want to know what like the common causes of that are, whatever the case may be, leave your question down in the comments down below. If you see a question that you like the look of, click the thumbs up button on the comment and the comments with the most uh, thumbs ups. I'm going to be asking Matt at Cycle Fit and hopefully getting some answers for you guys. Go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back again Stars are aligned, we will dance in the But anyway, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. When spring is coming. Ooh.